I would say grace is a free gift that God gives to us with no strings attached. Nothing we have to do to earn it. It can't be earned. It's a free gift that God gives. That's his love inside of us, given to us, that lives inside of us. This past summer, I had the opportunity to travel to the Holy Land. And that was really exciting for me. And everyone I talked to who had been there said, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. Really feel Jesus because you're walking around, you know, where he lived and walked. And so everyone had talked it up so much to me. And so I had huge expectations going into this trip. And so when I got there, I started, you know, traveling. Like we went to Galilee, we went to Bethlehem, I was in Jerusalem and I, you know, I was visiting all these amazing places and I was kind of disappointed with the fact that I wasn't f like feeling or having this really big emotional experience that I had expected because everyone told me that was what I was going to experience. So I was kind of not disappointed in, you know, where I was, but in myself that I wasn't encountering God in this major way like I had expected to. So one day I visited um, Gethsemane, the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus experienced his agony in the garden. And I walked around the garden and then I, I walked into the church that's right there, the Catholic church that's there. And I sat down and I was praying and I was like, man, this, why am I not feeling what I expected to feel? Why am I not feeling God? And so it, I was kind of going through my own kind of spiritual agony in the place where Jesus experienced his agony. And so I turn around and I see this priest sitting in the confessional and it was unusual because usually when you approach a confessional, you know, the door is shut, maybe the light's on to indicate that you can go in. But the priest was sitting in the confessional with all the doors open. He was just sitting there and I was like, wow, this is really odd. So I approached him and I said, hi, are you, you know, are you receiving confessions? And he said, yes, yes. And he said, come in. So, you know, he invited me in and he, we, he shut the doors and it was, it was just odd the way it was set up. And he said, do you speak any Spanish? I said, very little. I said, do you speak English? He said, very little. And I said, okay. <laughs> so I did my confession and I don't know if he understood all of it or some of it, but it was amazing. And he gave me really good advice as much as he could. And he absolved me on my sins. And, and it was so awesome to be in that moment where, you know, I was going through this, this kind of spiritual low place and, the grace of confession and reconciliation was given to me in that moment. I was, I was totally out of my element, not home in a foreign country, but God still used, you know, this minister of his grace, a priest, to give his mercy to me in this space where I was feeling totally graceless. You know, he gave me that free gift of, of forgiveness and mercy. So that's my story of grace.